This is Anything But Footy's 12 Days of Christmas, where we focus on our experiences of covering Olympic and Paralympic sport. I'm John. I had to look on my Twitter account, bizarrely, when I was thinking about this question. And on my pinned profile is still a picture that I took being in the velodrome on the 12th of August 2016 when Sir Bradley Wiggins and the Team Pursuit British team won the gold medal. And it was his fifth gold medal. It was his eighth medal overall. It was a record at that point for a British Olympian. But I remember back in London in 2007 interviewing him when he was a virtual unknown and London was about to stage the, 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 the part of the Tour de France. And he was the face of British cycling at that point coming through. And I, was, and I really liked him then and I continue to have, to have liked him. And, and interviewing him in Rio, he, he was different. Um, and I talk, actually I asked him about Tokyo, whether he would be around for Tokyo. And obviously he's, he's not. And he's gone and done other things, which I think is, is probably the right thing for him to do. Um, but I think it's, it's one of those moments where to be in a velodrome, and I've talked about this a lot on a podcast, the velodromes are an amazing atmosphere. But to be there and actually grab the picture as well, I grabbed the picture on the finish line, um, and they're going so fast it's slightly blurred, um, to then go and interview him and talk again about his career and being the greatest Olympian in British history at the moment is uh, certainly an honour. And download our weekly Anything But Footy podcast for all the latest Olympic and Paralympic news, interviews and conversations. We're on Apple and Google Podcasts. Just search Anything But Footy.